yourself. Learn to prove all things first. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. I want to start by sharing from 2 Thessalonians 2, verses 8 to 11. Praise the Lord. Now, I always like to say one of the things, praise God, that you've got to understand. Praise the Lord about the prophetic ministry. Praise God. All prophecy, all prophetic ministry, praise God, must line up with the word of God. All prophecy must line up with the word of God. Praise the Lord. And so I, I must say I commend all of you who are enjoying the teachings. All of you, praise God, who, you know, in box, whether it's on Messenger, whether it's on WhatsApp, just to say how you are being so enlightened, how you are being so empowered by the great teachings and you're learning so much. And I ascribe all honor and glory to Almighty God. Amen. Amen. Second Thessalonians 2, verses 8 to 11. Praise the Lord. And then shall that wicked that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Praise God. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Glory be to God. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Come on, let's get in the word. Praise the Lord. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because they received not, because they received not the love of the truth, praise God, that they might be saved. Oh, glory be to God. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. Oh, praise God. I pray and trust that you're not believing a lie. I pray and trust that you will not be easily deceived. Oh, there is so much deception in this world today. There is so much going on around us today. There is so much lying wonders. There is so much things that is happening. And if you're not careful, if you are not careful, the genuine, oh God, you, you will be, not be able to discern the genuine from the fake, from the counterfeit. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. And so you have to prove all things for yourself. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You see, we live, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, we live in an hour when there is an emphasis on things that are supernatural. We're living in a day and age where people are running down the supernatural. We are living in a time and in a season where everybody's just caught up with the supernatural. And that is why a lot of people are also being deceived. You see, many movies, videos, and TV programs are delving into the supernatural. Into the supernatural. you got the psychics. You got some folks that are even proclaiming to be Christians. You got them coming left, right, and center at you. And if you do not know the word of God, if you do not know the word of God, and if you're not filled with the spirit of God, you will be easily deceived. And so that's why I believe that the Lord would have me to come at this time to share with you, encouraging you to prove all things first. Prove all things for yourself. You understand? Don't believe every lie. Don't believe every word. Don't believe everything that sounds good. Don't believe every prophecy. Don't believe every word that comes in the form of prophecy. Can I get a witness in here? Oh, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You must learn to prove things for yourself. Prove things first. Praise God. Is this word in line with the word of God? Is what she's saying, what he's saying, is it lining up with the word of God? Glory be to God. I am not one of those people that, you know, just, you know, have to be following and doing it the way that everyone does it. Praise God. You know, Jesus, every word that Jesus spoke, everything that Jesus said, he made it clear that he was under the leadership of his father. Praise the Lord. Now, that was Jesus. And remember, Jesus was 
fully man and also he was full of God. Praise God. But he submitted to his father even on to death. The word of God lets us know. Praise the Lord. So there are a lot of things out there that are now coming off into the supernatural. You understand? Is it spiritual? You know, is it demonic? You understand? Praise God. You see, uh, what does the word supernatural mean? We want to look at the word supernatural and understand where we are today. You understand? Because if something is not lining up with the word of God, it could be satanic. It could be demonic. Come on, somebody. You know, there's a lot of people will use, it, you know, in the name of Jesus. You know, I, I speak this word in the name of Jesus. You understand? That could be coming from the soulish realm. That individual could be possessed by a demon, even though they are saying in the name of Jesus, even though they are speaking as if it is from God, it could be coming from Satan himself. Because remember, he's an imitator. Remember, he's an imitator. And remember, he's an accuser of the brethren. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I thank God for persons who, for my brothers and sisters who are passionate about the word of God. I thank God for those of you who love good teaching, who love good preaching. Praise God. You're not caught up in all of the hype. You're not just caught up in all of the emotion, but you know how to settle in the word of God. You know how to settle in the things of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We are at a crucial point place now brothers and sisters we are at a crucial place now ladies and gentlemen we are at a place praise god that if you do not know the genuine from from the fake you're going to be easily deceived and that's why we're encouraged praise god to prove all things for yourself prove all things is it in line with the word of god yes it sounds good Yes, it looks good. You know, it looks very good. It sounds very good. But is that in line with the word of God? Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So what does the word supernatural mean? It is referring to things that cannot be explained with a scientific or a natural explanation. It's a phenomenon that can't be explained, you know, um, you know, uh, with a scientific or a natural explanation. That is what the super, and that's what the word supernatural means. You know, you can't explain it in the natural. The scientists can't explain it. It just can't be explained. You know, it is beyond the natural. A wonder that seemingly defies logic. We're talking about the meaning of the supernatural. You know, it defies logic and is not explainable by the known forces or laws of uh, nature. You understand? You've got to understand what I'm saying, praise the Lord. There are two sources that, that the supernatural phenomenon can, or can come from. There are two sources in this world that the supernatural phenomenon can come from. Yes, my friend, supernatural manifestations are actually things that have their own source of power from the spirit world. Huh? So you've got to prove things for yourself because there are two sources in this world that the, that the supernatural can come from. Am I helping anybody? Praise the Lord. Are you one of them that love the word of God, that love things to line up with the word of God? Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, these supernatural phenomenon, you understand, uh, you know, the source of power is from the, from the spiritual world. The spiritual world has two active powers on this earth. Are you listening to me? The spiritual world has two actual and active powers in existence. God and his angels and Satan and his demons or the fallen angels. You understand? And so when you understand, praise God, you know, about the supernatural, you got to understand that is not everything that is manifested in the supernatural means that it comes from God. There are some things that look so authentic. There are some things that look so real. And it could be the source can be Satan himself working through his demons and you know these demons work through people you understand these demons don't work through 
chairs and those kind of things. These demons work through human beings, through people. So you got to understand that you must prove all things for yourself. Prove all things first. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, fallen angels are at work also in this world. Fallen angels are at work also in this world. Satan, you see, Satan uses Satan uses his supernatural lion wonders and signs to trap men into following him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all deception. Satan uses his, you know, supernatural. Learn this. Satan uses his supernatural powers mm-hmm, to perform lion wonders and signs to trap men into following him. While the Lord Jesus uses his miracles, signs, and wonders to lead men into righteousness, into a righteous path to follow him. So you got to be careful who you're following now. You got to be careful who you are following. You understand? You got to be very careful who you are following. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You see, from the above verse, we see that men can be deceived into believing a lie. Men can be deceived into believing a lie if they are deceived into accepting lying signs and wonders. You've got to be careful, brothers and sisters, what you're running down. You've got to be careful who you're listening to. You've got to be careful what you are doing and what you're applying. You know, there's a lot of people today that have been deceived into believing that if they wear a guard ring or if they wear some sort of amulet, you know, or put a piece of cloth in their brassiere or, you know, something in their shoes or in their handbag that is going to bring them, it's going to attract prosperity or it's going to cause them to be protected or it's going to cause them to be blessed. You know, just recently, just recently in Jamaica, we had a young man, a young man that was taken out, taken down. You know, you know what I'm talking about. There's certain words that we use wisdom with that we be not, you know, removed. And, you know, he, 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 he was taken out by a fellow student all because, um, or, you know, it is, it is um, alleged that it was over a piece of guard ring, a piece of jewelry that, um, that um, this student or, you know, was, was, was given to wear for some sort of protection. And I don't know whether it's the little guy that was taken out or the one that did the taking out. I'm not sure who it was for, but, you know, over a piece. And that is satanic right there. That is demonic right there. So you see, when people, people don't understand that when you get trapped into these kind of things and when you get deceived into believing these kind of things, you're setting up yourself for death. You're setting up yourself for destruction. You're setting up yourself for curses. You understand? And so I have, I have felt led, strongly led by the Holy Spirit to come on and to encourage somebody to let you know, praise God, that you have to prove, you have to learn and you know, to prove things for yourself. You got, you just can't, you just can't fall for everything that is being told to you. And sad to say, even in the church, you got to be careful because it's not everybody that is saying, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of God. It's not everybody you see speaking in tongues. It's not everybody you see jumping and praising and, and dipping and dancing and making all of the noise. It's not everyone the word of God says that will make it in. And so you have to be careful that you are not deceived and learn to prove all things for yourself. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so here we see, you know, that, you know, Satan can also perform miracles. Satan can also perform lion wonders. You want to stand through his um, demonic, um, you know, activities. You, you, you understand? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. You see, the church is experiencing a lot of miracles at this time. Despite the pandemic, despite what's going on in the world, 
you know, the church, um, you know, many churches are experience, are experiencing the move of God. You know, you might not hear a lot about it because, you know, one of the things, one of the plans of the enemy is to silence the prophets. One of the plans of the enemy is to, you know, shut down the, and lock the mouth of the prophets and to, you know, to bring about discouragement and to bring about confusion and, and, and chaos and all of these things. And, you know, all of these things to, to silence the, the mouth of the prophets, the mouth of the apostles, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, the brethren, Christians and all. One of the plans of the enemy is to shut down the church or the churches. You understand? Oh, I know that some of you will say, well, you know, we are the church. Oh, yes, we are ecclesia. We are the called out, separated, chosen ones. We are the sanctified ones, set apart by God through the Holy Spirit for sacred use unto God. But there is another part to the church. You understand? Even Paul himself said, praise God at one stage, praise God to those in Corinth. He said, listen, you know, we have no such things in the churches of God. And so even him talked about not the church, but the churches, the local gatherings, praise the Lord. So, you know, I want to teach you this. Even when we gather, you know, as a body of believers, as ecclesia, you know, we the ecclesia is God's church. You understand? Ecclesia is made up of people from all denominations, all color and creeds. You understand? Now that is God's church. He knows though, he knows those that are his. Praise the Lord. None of us can tell who will make it to heaven and who won't make it to heaven. Come on, somebody. But God knows his own. He knows everyone. Praise God. But in the local churches, praise God, this is where we gather. This is where we have speech fellowship. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. And so here we see, praise God. Hallelujah. Here we see uh, the church is experiencing a lot of miracles at this time. But along with these miracles praise god along with these true miracle signs and wonders from god hallelujah there are also false gifts there are also false power at work praise the lord there are also a lot of fake signs and miracles and lion wonders that are not of god and if you do not know the difference you will be easily deceived. And that is why it's important for the body of Christ. That's why it's important for Christians to seek the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's why it's important for Christians to seek God's face for the outpouring and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Which induces you, um, you know, with power, power for service. Praise the Lord. That's why Jesus said to the apostles, he said, I don't want you to go out there. I don't want you doing anything. I don't want you to get out there now and start, you know, trying to perform miracle signs and wonders. I want you, first of all, to go to Jerusalem. And I want you to go there and you're going to tarry there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sorry. You're going to, you're going to tarry in Jerusalem. You're going to wait there for, you know, the, 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 the power. You're going to wait for the promise, praise God, you know, of which that the Father, you know, will pour it upon you. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. So there are many, many miracle signs and wonders that are happening in our churches today. Praise God. Not because you're not hearing about it. Even in our church, praise God, things are happening. People are being healed. People are being delivered. People are being set free. Captives are being set free. You know, witchcraft spells are being broken off of people. You know, the gift of the gift and the spirit of discernment is flowing in our church. Praise God. Where we can detect amulets. Praise God. You know, persons have come into our church just recently. And you know, the, I was on the pulpit and the Holy Spirit say that ring is an amulet. That ring is, is satanic. And you know, you need to deliver deliver this individual it's not about embarrassing anyone it's not about making someone feel small and making someone feel embarrassed it's about them getting delivered it's about god getting the glory and the praise praise god and that is why i'm encouraging you praise the lord that's why i'm encouraging you praise god to prove all things for yourself praise the lord glory be to god so there are many many miracle signs and wonders that are taking place in our churches today Praise God. But along with the miracle signs and wonders, the authentic, true miracle signs and wonders, there's a lot of fake 
there's a lot of demonic stuff that is taking place in our churches also because you know there are many who will come and manifest Satan manifest himself as a minister of light you know you understand the word of God says you understand and if you do not know the difference you're going to believe everything that is told to you you're going to believe everything that looks like a miracle everything that sounds like it's from God you're going to believe it and so I'm encouraging you to prove God for yourself prove everything for yourself praise the Lord hallelujah mm. hallelujah how do we discern the difference so that we do not be caught up how do you discern the difference so that you do not be caught up into something that is not of God, but something that is demonic, something that is satanic, which could lead us into error. How do we do that? Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to say, first of all, which is how I operate. Praise God. I'm mindful. I am careful. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. I'm mindful and I'm careful. Praise the Lord. Because I'm telling you, if it is not in line with the word of God, you need to question it. You need to question it, no matter how good it sounds. You know, many, many years ago, I think it was about 1999, I compiled a manual, praise God, called the Bible Explosion. You know, I I, I did this uh, many, many years ago here in the Cayman Islands. And it says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men, Matthew 4, 19. And this was a manual that I compiled and did by the college. Praise God. I've run several Bible schools. Praise the Lord. We have ministers that have come from under Vision America Church of God. Bishops. Praise God. That have come from under Vision America Church of God. You know, deacons and deaconesses. Praise the Lord. You know, um, you know, uh, many persons have been trained. Praise God. You know, on under under you know uh, my ministry. Praise God. To God be the glory. So when you see me coming with this word, when you see me coming with these words, don't you ever think that this is just today? Praise God. Hallelujah. I have been operating, praise God, this way for many, many years. Many, 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 many years. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I'm, I'm sharing I'm sharing at this time um, with you from some of the material that I compiled many years ago called from the Bible Explosion. And you know, I believe, praise God, that the Lord is going to help me to rekindle this fire. Praise God, because many were delivered. Many were saved. Praise God, under, you know, these teachings. Praise the Lord. You see, we can see that the devil is able, he's able to perform miracles as well as God by re, by the reading of a miracle that says magicians performed and how God did a great miracle in Exodus 7, 9 as well. So Satan, Satan knows how to perform miracles through, through his agents. He has his own angels. You understand these fallen angels. And so if you're not careful now, guys, if you're not careful, you'll believe a lie. Praise God. Let's see what it says. When Pharaoh, we're in Exodus 7, 9, verses 9 and 12. And it says, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle for you, then thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take the rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. Here it is. God is giving Moses and Aaron and, 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 and some instructions and some examples of what's going to happen. So you're going to see Satan at work also. You're going to see. You see, God knows exactly where we would be and where we would reach when it comes to the supernatural. He knew, he knew before the foundation of the world that there would be a lot of fake preachers, a lot of fake pastors, a lot of fake prophets and prophetesses, a lot of fake evangelists and apostles and teachers and brethren. God knew that. And so he gave us some examples, praise God. As I said before, you got to prove things for yourself. Is it in line with the word of God? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so here we see Exodus 7, 9 to 12. Praise God. God is telling them what to do. And in verse 10 it says, And Moses and Aaron went in on to Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded Praise God. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants. And it became a serpent, just like the Lord told him to do. Praise God. And in verse 11 of Exodus 7, it says, Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, the witchcraft workers, <laughs> the workers, 
Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did like manner with their enchantment. So you see, you see that 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 Aaron flung down his rod and it turned into a serpent. And we see just as the Lord told Moses and Aaron, they must do. He's going to prove to them that the magicians, the sorcerers, the witchcraft workers, they will do the same thing. And it will look just like the same thing. But there is a power that comes from God that Satan does not have. Praise the Lord. And so here we see, praise God, that the sorcerers and the magicians of Egypt, they also did the same thing and did all their enchantment. For they cast down every man his rod and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. So Aaron's rod, which became a serpent, when they threw down their rods, it also they also became serpents. But Aaron's rod was filled with the power of God. Aaron's rod was filled with the anointing of God. Glory be to God. The anointing makes the difference, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. The anointing makes the difference. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Don't forget, if you're viewing on YouTube, hit that subscription button. Hit subscribe now. Yeah, have you done it as yet? Oh, you haven't done it as yet. But hit subscribe now. Come on, go ahead and hit subscribe. Praise God. And hit all on the gray bell. You're going to tap the bell after you subscribe. You're going to hit all. And in case that you already subscribed, go back and hit that little bell and hit all for those of you on Facebook. Praise God. God bless you. For those of you, praise God, on Facebook, go ahead and like, go ahead and follow, go ahead and share. Praise the Lord. Those of you on the television, praise God. May God richly bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't forget, if you want to get in touch with me or Bishop Leroy on WhatsApp, no matter what part of the world we are, no matter where we are in the world, you can always get us on those numbers that are showing on the screen on WhatsApp. If this has been a blessing to you, if you're being encouraged, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And don't forget, guys, don't forget, if you don't have a home-based church and you're in the Portmore, St. Catherine, greater Portmore area in Jamaica, praise God, you know, or you're in the Evans Meadows community down there in Denver, Clarendon, you know, we are the only church you know, in that community thus far, you know, the word of God lets us know where there is no vision. People perish. People are destroyed. Praise God. And I'm so glad that I'm a woman of vision. Praise God. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. Praise God. That must be in the church of God. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You see, most Christians want to receive the things of God. Most Christians want to receive the things of God. They want to receive those things that the Lord is doing that are miraculous. Yeah? However, praise God. However, praise God. What they don't understand, praise God, you know, is that some of the so-called miracles of God are not coming from Him. There's a lot of people running down miracle signs and wonders. Oh, they would say, prophetess, uh, you know, um, what the Lord show you for me? What the Lord show you for me? And there's a lot of folks will try to work it and make something happen. When you know the Lord say that this and this and that and that, you know, they got to prove a point. They got to say something to the person because they will ask this question. And if they don't say something, then it's got to look like they're not a true prophet or a true prophet. No, 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 no. I do not operate like that. If God did not give me a word for you, I have no word for you. I will tell you what I feel like saying to you, but I will not tell you that God said that I must tell you this when God did not tell me to tell you that. You understand? And so you've got to be careful. And you know, I've seen marriages destroyed. I've seen homes severed, marriages destroyed because somebody said, Thus saith the Lord. And it was from the soulish realm. It was from the, the, the flesh. It was not from God. And you, so you see, anything that comes not from God will cause confusion and chaos sooner or later. But if it's from God, it can only bring about 
it can only bring about great results. You have to make me some testings. You have to make me some stuff at first. But if it is from God, it shall come to pass. Glory be to God. God is not like man that he should like. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so, you know, there's a lot of things that people are being told and it is not from God, but all it is doing is glorifying men and not God. You see, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, praise the Lord. You see, as you as you uh, listen to me, as you listen to me at this time, I pray and trust, praise God, that you're being wonderfully blessed on this, the good news broadcast. And I come with no other news but the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, the gospel contains everything that you and I need. It's in the gospel. Prosperity, in the gospel. Divine healing, in the gospel. Protection and deliverance, in the gospel. Provision, supernatural provision, in the gospel. You understand? Whatever your needs are, it can be found in the gospel. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. As Christians, we cannot receive nor accept all miracles. And I say that boldly without any apology. And as born-again believers, you must grow. You must know God for yourself. You must search the scriptures. You must know the word of God for yourself. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You cannot be running up and down accepting every word that is being told to you. You, you, you can't be just running up and down all over the place, running down a word. You know, prophet, give me a word. Prophet, just give me a word. You know, everything that sounds nice and, and you know, it's, it's, it's making your flesh feel good. You love that. You run in that down. But when it comes to the authentic word of God, when it comes to a word from God, when it comes that God is saying you need to straighten up your life, you need to sort of yourself, when it comes to holiness, when when it comes to purification and sanctification, when it comes to those things, people run away from those things. They do not want to hear those things because these are the things that is in line with the word of God. People just want you to prophesy about material things, cars and houses, money, how much millions. You look on social media, people take one image, one picture with some hundred dollar bills stuck up and people share and all of that. Somebody say, you know, Tomorrow this, tomorrow this time you're going to get $1 million and nothing in go so, not a thing in go so. Come on, somebody. Not that God is, you know, can't do that for you. But, you know, if you sit down the laser waiting for a million dollars to drop out of the sky, you can work and you don't want to work and you don't want to do nothing with your hands. And God has given you ideas, insights and concepts. And you don't want to do anything. You want to dress up every day, put on this and put on that. And you don't want to try to earn. And you want a government to feed you. And you want a government to clothe you. And you want a government to, to pay your rent. You want government to do everything. And you're not crippled. You're not blind. You're well able. And you can sure enough get something. But no, it's not what you want to do. You're just waiting on all this money to drop out of the sky. This is one woman that is not coming with no lies. I'm going to tell you the truth. I am going to tell you the truth. You need to prove all things for yourself. And stop running down all of this hype. I'm in line with the word of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. You cannot as a child of God. You should not as a child of God. Be just accepting all miracles, signs and wonders. Just because the word, you know, God or Bible or Jesus, you know, is attributed as being the source of those things. Just because somebody say Jesus, just because somebody say God say, just because somebody say, you know, the Bible say, you know, and you can't discern and you can't, you know, you don't know if this is coming from God or you don't know if this is Satan working through, you know, the, this person, you know, even to demons, even to demons can come in the form of light. The Bible tells us that. Oh, praise God. You got to learn to prove things for yourself. Praise God. Hallelujah. You see, the Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5 and verses 2. Eh? Prove. In other words, test. Prove all things before I leave you. Prove all things. Hold fast 
hold on hold on to that which is good hold on to the word of god yes. glory be to god hallelujah praise the lord i pray and trust that you have been wonderfully blessed by these few words of encouragement i really pray and trust that you have been blessed i'd love to hear from you go ahead and hit subscribe on youtube like and follow on facebook and as i said before praise the lord if you'd love to send me a whatsapp bishop leroy a whatsapp feel free to go ahead and do so it's been a pleasure of mine praise god and as i said before praise god i am taking these teachings from my own manual compilation of um bible schools that i ran here in the Cayman Islands and I've done a few in Jamaica at our church you know this is my compilation bible explosion praise the lord hallelujah and praise god this has been a, a compilation of mine that I've done bible school with many persons as i said earlier i've come out of the bible school and gone on to be ministers pastors praise god apostles evangelists you know Sunday school teachers deacons and deaconesses you understand and doing well in ministry all because of the solid word of god and so i just want to say may god bless you fall in love with the word again get back to basics stop running down the hype whatever it is that is coming your way under the auspices under the umbrella of prophecy prove it is it in line with the word of god do not accept everything that you see on television on youtube on facebook on tiktok instagram just because they say jesus just because they say god just because they say church just because they say bible know the word for yourself but most of all know god for yourself on the half of bishop leo and all of us here at vision america church of god i just want to say god bless you until next time shalom